Well, I want a quarterback that wins. <laughs> That's what I want more than anything, a quarterback that can be the face of this franchise, a quarterback who can uplift his teammates and drag them over the fence to win games and to win this division and to compete for the conference division and to go to the Super Bowl and win that game. That's the quarterback we're looking for. Come here, Deshaun, here we go. Good, wait for the ball. Deshaun, it's got arm talent, there's no question. The ball leaves his hand, it gets the receiver much faster, you know, than, than our other quarterbacks right now. I think clearly from the ability to make some big plays and give our offense some real punch and juice, he's exactly the right guy to be starting the season with. Is he young? Yeah. Is he real young? Yeah. But he's going to do it, so here we go. Ah, good job, baby. The day that I was drafted was obviously a, a huge moment in my life, and so much happened so fast that it was hard to kind of reflect on it. And now actually being here and, and being in this locker room and uh, you know, kind of solidifying my spot on this team, uh, now reflecting on that situation, it was, it was unbelievable. Eyes outside, here it comes. Good, out of way. Me and Coach Jackson have been side by side throughout this whole process. And, you know, as soon as I got here and I got drafted here, he explained the exact process of what we we're going to go through. And it was going to be one where I was going to get reps with the ones, but we we're going to gradually work towards where we went, but we weren't going to put a timeline on things. Obviously, I was able to prove to him that I would be, you know, in a position to learn what it took to be a true starting quarterback, being behind Brock, you know, sitting in the third position, but then stepping in with the ones. And I think that was kind of the thing that allowed me to gain confidence. So it allowed this transition now, uh, being named a starter, to, to go really smooth because I've already had a lot of experience with those guys. When you're in the NFL and, and you play on a program or organization that's a story, that's the Cleveland Browns, you got to accept that the coaches who are in front of you know more than you do. No, do it again! Lee has been coaching quarterbacks for longer than I've been alive. He's seen it all. He gets it. And I, I've truly trusted in that, and I've trusted in you know all the coaches around me, Coach Jackson as well. Throw it right at his head. Boom, there it is. The good thing that Coach Jackson and I have been able to create is a, a, a preparation process that allows me to be so locked in so when I get out there, I can just go execute my job and not consider all the stuff that's going on you know, in the stands and the environment around us. The, the other piece of this at the quarterback position is the respect that you get from your teammates and how much you need to put time and effort into that. So my biggest challenge lately has been, you know, learning everyone on my team, especially within the offense and how they like to be led. When you're in a huddle that consists of, you know, a definite Hall of Famer, Joe Thomas is going to be led a lot different than Corey Coleman. And, and it's my job to understand, uh, you know, what leadership style is going to get the best out of those guys. So I've been kind of, you know, working my hand on uh, getting to know each guy individually and doing whatever I can to create that camaraderie so that when we step out in the field, they can trust in me to lead them in the right way. the quarterback position, it's it's big for, for the people around you, and that includes the fans, to, to know what they're going to get every game. And for me, what you see is what you get. You know, there, there's not much of a change for me. I'm pretty even keeled when I'm out there, um, and I, I, I live for the big moment. I absolutely love the big moment. Uh, but for, for the most part, I, I like to keep it, you know, the same. But I'm a goofball, too, so I'm going to have some fun. You know, I'm going to make people laugh wearing something that probably everyone's going to make fun of because I, I don't have, you know, any Gucci or anything like that. There's no reason to come out here and, you know, and now change into the persona that everyone wants. That's super cool, you know. Nah, that's not me. I'm going to, you know, continue to be this, the same guy every day. I'm truly a planner, and I, and I love to set goals, small and large. But I think for the first time ever, this is going to be a season where I don't want to set goals because in, in, in a position where I don't know much about this league and how, you know, what it takes to win, it's, it's hard to, to put certain things up there as goals. So for me, I, I know that the ultimate goal of this team is to win and to put, our, put ourselves in a position every week, every rep to, to go out and win. So as long as we're winning and, and we're getting better and we're heading towards that goal of winning and obviously get into a Super Bowl one day, then I think I'm gonna be satisfied with the end of this.